Yo, what's good guys? Today we're going to be doing a PSG rebuild so that they actually win the Champions League. I'm doing this because, um, well, I'm sure you can see what happens uh, here on the screen. And, uh, yeah, no, we're going to make sure that doesn't happen again. So, yeah, we're going to sort out this team. I think this, this might only take, like, one season. This might be a shorter episode, but we'll see. First off, I think the gaps that we have in here. We need a left back. I mean, we have Mendes, who is young, but I think we might, uh, if we get, like, a solid player for that position for now, that'll be good. And also, our midfield needs some work as well because we have some players in the wrong positions and they're getting a bit old and everything. So, we'll see what we'll have to do about that. Our budget is 137 million, so we've actually got quite a lot to work with. So, yeah, let's work on those midfield. I think we're going to start this midfielders by signing Eduardo Camavinga, considering he is a very high potential uh, young midfielder who we, yeah, we're going to try and purchase right now. We're going to offer a player swap, I think. We're going to offer maybe Wijnaldum and, just, and maybe an extra 5 million and see what they say. Okay, 16 million. I'm going to try and bring that down a little bit, but definitely they're interested in Wijnaldum. 12 million. There we go. That's a great deal. What a deal we have right there. So there we go, time to sort out the contract situation, and then we've just signed Kamavinga. Sporadic, we'll definitely give him four years, I'm going to put up to five, even though we're definitely not going to see the whole of that five years come to an end. And the wage, whatever, just take, take it. And there we go, Kamavinga has been signed. Okay, so now it's time to move on and find another midfielder, which we can use. And uh, yeah, we're about to see who that is. I mean, when we're talking of world-class midfielders, you know... I think you know who I'm talking about. Of course, it's Fred from Manchester United. So, you know, he's not looking that bad. No, I'm joking, of course. No, we're not signing Fred, unfortunately. Sorry to the Fred fans. I'm, of course, talking about Kevin De Bruyne. And considering I don't think Wizards is going to last very long, uh, I think we might as well sign him. It, it'll cost a lot, but, I mean, I think it will definitely be worth it. We're going to attempt a swap deal once again. So, what midfielders do we have that we can cash in on? No, we're gonna try we're gonna try Di Maria. Alright, okay. Let's see. Di Maria in 80 million. Not interested. 172. Alright. I don't quite know if this is gonna be within our budget actually. We might have to try and sell a few players if we want to do this. 140 even still was quite a lot. Okay, well, looks like we're not signing De Bruyne. I'll tell you who we will be able to sign, though. Ruben Neves will be very good to sign. I'm going to definitely pursue this one. I'm going to try and do a player swap. We're going to try and uh, get rid of... Um, Gay, I think that's how you say that. I have no idea. And 47 million. 50. I'll try 45. 50. Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. I'll do it. Try to sort out the contract, and then Ruben Neves is signed. No release clause, that's what we like to see. And there we go. So filling in the gaps, this is what we have right now. And I think that um, something that we are going to do is just get a left back. Because Mendes is good, I'm sure he develops very well. But I just want a solid, like a, a great left, left back to be put in that position. And of course, when it comes to left backs... I am thinking Alonso Davies is going to be perfect for that position. We'll try and do a swap deal. I think we'll have more than enough money and this will probably be our last signing. So we'll try and go for a player swap. Uh, maybe just someone who probably isn't going to play. And then 50 million. 87. Let's bring that down to 70. 87. Or about just 80. There we go. 80. 80 million. Now time to sort out the contract and there we go. I think we'll give him a crucial squad role. I think he'll be playing... A lot five years is happy days no release clause exactly what we want now time to just give him his contract or from what he's having at the moment and there we go look at that we've basically used all our money on all these transfers but hopefully it pays off and there we go davies is now into the team i'm just going to make sure that there isn't anyone else who i've signed who I forgot to put in and no so this this looks like it's it we've got like a pretty sick squad here i'm not gonna lie Mbappe, Neymar, we've got Messi, Camavinga, Verratti, Neves, Alonso Davies, you've got Kempembe, Marquinhos, Hakimi, you've got Donnarumma, it's amazing. It's probably not going to do much, but I'm going to go and quickly put development plans on all of them, just so to increase that growth, just to even increase the chances of us winning this Champions League. Alright, well now, I think we are ready to simulate the Champions League and see how it goes. So there we go, we come second in our group, which is actually bloody close, so we're... Drawn on points with uh, Club Rude somehow. I have no idea how that happened. But um, yeah, time to go to the knockout stages and see how that goes. And just uh, just to show, we're currently top of uh, the league on uh, by four points. And uh, time to look at that squad growth because I am interested to see what's been happening. There we go. Neves has gone up. Uh, 
gone up a bit, Camavinga's gone up a bit, and Lonjo Davies has gone up a bit, Malkini, Austin, all that. You know, it's, it's great. But here we go, the first stage of the round of 16. The first leg is against Sporting. Let's hope we can do this. I'm sure we can get this done. We can get a result from this game. Look at that, 4-0. Neymar, Messi getting a goal, Neymar getting a goal, Hakimi getting a goal, and Di Maria coming on and getting a goal. That's exactly what we like to see. Time to go to the second leg. Now time for the second leg with 4-0 in aggregate. There's no way we're losing this now. And there it is, 2-2, that's all we need. A goal from Hakimi and another goal from Messi. Now time to move on to the quarterfinals. So here we have it, the quarterfinals, the first leg against AC Milan. I mean, I think, I look at my team, I really, I honestly, I don't know, know that much about AC Milan, but I know for sure that I have a quality team. So come on, if we can get it done, that would be great. 2-2, okay, all right. Well, this still does leave it up to the second leg, and if we get knocked out, <laughs> Uh, that would be quite something. I'm just, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for, for a good result. Here we go. It comes down to this game, whether we will proceed in the Champions League or whether we'll get knocked out. I see some fitness issues, but I hope that we can fight through it. Please, 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 please. And we won. We won. We got through in penalties. Let's go. That was a lot closer than I was expecting it to be, but there we go. Oh, let's go. Okay, we move on. We move on. And here it is. This is going to be a hard game, this one. Bayern Munich in the semi-finals. If we get through them, if we have, if we get a good result in this first leg, then it's just up to the final. I don't know who else is in the competition, I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, we've got such a good squad, surely. Come on. At least a draw in the first leg would be great. There we go. A win. That is wonderful. Away from home, we get the win. Come on. Come on, please. I have hope. I have hope. And here we go. It all comes down to this game, whether we get to the final. We are ahead on aggregate, but only by one goal. But I mean, it cannot be underestimated. Come on, please. Please, come on. Come on, boys. Yes, and that's it. We're into the final. Come on, let's go. And here it is. The final is against Barcelona. Now, before we do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna check the stats of all my players because it, they have been they have been great. They've been able to overcome some some good teams. Mbappe top scorer with 26 goals in the league. That is insane. Uh, Me Neymar and uh, Messi also up there. Messi getting 19 goals and no uh, 17 assists. If only he was able to do that in the actual league. Gun. It's unfortunate, man. Messi top assist over 17. That's that's great. That's that is actually sick and. I want to try and see who's developed the most. Who has gone up the most? Mbappe has gone up three, which is just amazing. Donnarumma has gone up four rating. Alonso Davies has gone up two. Marquinhos has gone up two. Kimpembe has gone up four ratings. Hakimi has gone up four as well. Ruben Neves going up three ratings. And Neymar going up to a 91. I mean, like, this has just been great. Like... I'm just hoping we can get this result against Barcelona. And yep, I've just seen, yep, we did win Ligue 1 by 9 points. So, I mean, no, not 9, 11 points even. So, yeah, you know, no surprises there. Let's see. We've got this cup thing. We won it on penalties against Lille. The cup. Oh, we got knocked out of this one. Where did we get knocked out? Okay, so we won there. Round of 16, we got knocked down by Lille. And now we're about to see whether we have successfully rebuilt PSG so that they are able to win the Champions League. Well, not really rebuilt, more like fixed. I bought a Davies, Camavinga, and Ruben Neves. And yep, yeah, it looks like they've done quite well. I mean, they've developed quite well. Camavinga hasn't gone up as much as I thought he would, but it's still good. And uh, yeah, so this is it. Let's see how this goes. And this is it. It all comes down to this game, the Champions League final against Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona on the attack. Press crossing it in, and just straight to Donnarumma. Neves, Neymar. Shoots. Oh, off the post. Cross it back in. Neymar. Nope, straight to Sagan. Oh, what a ball to Mbappe. Nothing come from it, though, unfortunately. Oh, Barcelona crossing into the box, and it's deflected. Straight back to Barcelona, though, on the attack again. Passing it around. De Jong saved. Straight, oh, off the line. Straight to Donnarumma again. Oh my god, this has been... I have no idea how I haven't conceded. That was... Wow. Oh, go on, Neymar. He's just got the pace. 
There's no way anyone can keep up. And there it is. First goal in the Champions League final from Neymar. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that is definitely a foul. That's probably going to be a booking. Yeah, a yellow card for Marquinhos. Oh. Barcelona are in the box. Still still with Barcelona. Deflected by Marquinhos. Saved by Donnarumma. Jesus. This is a, looking like a pretty tense game at the moment, actually. Okay, that was a lovely ball from Camavinga. Neymar can just run that through. Oh, what a goal. Messi scores the second goal. This is all going our way at the moment. Look at that. I'm not going to lie, this was not what... This is not who I was expecting this cross to go to, but am I complaining? Oh, absolutely not. I thought it was going to... I was trying to get that to go to Mbappe to try and get it in, but... Messi was there, just chilling, just just near the outside of the box. Just hits it first time on the volley. Brilliant. PSG, as oh, you can intercepted. See, not that much possession, but when they have won it back, Bloody hell, I've had like none of the possession. The on the attack pass. again, on the right side. Paul Rez crosses it in. Depay not able to get... No, too many even. Not able to get there. Crosses it back in. And it's out. Time for a counter-attack, maybe? Nope. Taken away immediately by wan And there it is, the first half, and everything is going our way. 2-0, but Barcelona are still trying to press to come, make, try and make a comeback. And here we go. The second half kicks off. Oh, no. That's it. Marconi missed this off. Yikes. That was a, that was a poor challenge. I am not going to try and say that that wasn't. That was very, very silly. All right. Um, can anyone play? Okay, I'm just going to bring Hakimi into the middle. Just so we have a full, like, well, not full defensive line, but we'll have, like, a our centre-backs will be full. Cross it in. Still not away. Donnarumma punches. Still with Barcelona, who are still pressing to try and get that goal. Fatty. Saved by Donnarumma. Oh. oh, what a ball to Mbappe, who's still going. Mbappe lays it off for Messi, and there it is, 3-0. Surely there's no way now that we're going to lose this game. This is just... There's, there's no way. 3-0. What a ball that was to play to Mbappe. Oh, Neves to Camavinga. That was a lovely ball. Camavinga, still Camavinga. Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, will they get one back? Nope. This game is definitely, definitely won. But... Oh, we do have a chance to increase the lead. And we do. Look at that. Mbappe scores 4 0. There it is, the final whistle was blown. And PSG win the Champions League. All they needed was three players and not facing Real Madrid. Here we go. Here we go. The trophy lift is about to happen. There we go. PSG has returned. Well, returned? I don't know if they have won any Champions League. But they have won the Champions League and not bottled it this time. And just like that. Within one season and buying three players, that is um, PSG have won the Champions League. These are the final stats of the season. Mbappe getting 27, Neymar getting 23, Messi getting 21, Hakimi scoring 18 goals. Wow, I didn't see that before. And I think Messi is still going to be the top assister. He is indeed just an overall great season. So thanks for watching this video. Um, if you did enjoy this one, be sure to like and subscribe. That would be wonderful if you want to see more videos just like this. And uh, yeah, no, I'll see you in the next one.